I'm Siggy the Vintage Man, and this is my story. Okay, so, uh, well, uh, my dad was a professional musician, so grew, growing up on the East Coast, I uh, played uh, some rhythm guitar as a kid. I uh, got a chance to sit in, my, uh, in with my dad's band, and I did play with a few kids' bands back in those days, you know, at the high school dances and that kind of thing. And I kind of um, just decided to uh, concentrate on playing baseball, so I gave up music altogether in the sense of playing, actually playing. And, um, uh, but, you know, still still was involved in music in the sense of a lot of concerts, a lot of, you know, a lot of things musically. I just didn't play, didn't even own an instrument. And about four years ago, uh, I decided to uh, stop playing again and bought a Taylor guitar. Uh, hit about every uh, open mic in Seattle area uh, for about a year to see if uh, I had what it takes to be uh, playing uh, on the stage professionally. And uh, things were going pretty good, so I decided to throw a show on down at the Skylock. the start of my journey and uh, uh, the first uh, year I was uh, you know like usual playing uh, uh, for bits and pieces and uh, uh, then I got a break uh, later in a lot of part of the first year of me playing professionally and uh, uh, at a local uh, bar and uh, played there weekly and there was a big break because uh, from that point everything else just started going um, forward and uh, a couple of years ago, I did uh, I did 80, uh, 80 shows and uh, uh, had 87 in the books, but I fell down, hurt my hand, so I had to take about four months off. This year, I'm on pace to uh, uh, do about uh, 50 shows and uh, do another record. I've already uh, recorded one record in uh, at the Bad Animal Studio in Seattle. And that's about where I'm at right now. A lot of exciting things going on, and uh, you know, I'm just. Uh, grateful that uh, I'm able to do this and it's a lot of fun because uh, I love the people Rock me mama like a southbound train Hey Hey Rock me Born from the cold Up in New England I was born to be a fiddler in an old time spring My baby plays the guitar and I kick the banjo now Well, you know I'm no spring chicken, but um, I feel like a spring chicken, and uh, and also I got a lot of time of catching up because I missed 45 years of playing an instrument. I'm trying to catch up now, so I just want to get out there, play for the people, put out my music, uh, have people enjoy my music. You know, I have a lot of people tell me that my songs, um, most of my songs are pretty much uh, make them happy. They want to. They, they want to move when I hear my music, and, and that, that's a good thing. I guess I've, I have a few slow songs and such, but uh, uh, but I, like, I want to make music that people can be happy about and uh, enjoy. And I'm not trying to be any uh, Beethoven or anything like that. I'm just trying to make music that people can enjoy and, 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 sh and dance to, sh you know, clap, uh, do whatever they want to do to bring out their emotions. That's it. I'm a simple man. I want to do a simple thing, and I want to just keep playing and do as much as I can in the industry. Uh, I've accomplished quite a bit um, in the short time that I've uh, been doing this, and it's because I'm working hard at it. And uh, you know, this this industry, I can say one thing: uh, there's so many people, so much more talented than me, so much more talented than me. But they're not getting anywhere because they think everybody's uh, going to come to them and. It's just not the way it works anymore because uh, there's a lot of people out there, man. You gotta work hard and get a few breaks. And uh, I'm just gonna keep plugging along, doing what I can do. I'm enjoying my life, man. What's what? How much better can this get? You know, um, I'm playing music for the people, doing something I like. Uh, 
Man, I'm living the dream, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And folks, I have one question to ask all of you folks. What is your story?